Taurus, what's going on? What's going on? I want to hear from you. Leave me comments down below um, after you watch this and let me know, or even during, of course, during the premiere. Um, I'm dying to get into your reading. I've been asked to do your reading again. It's been almost a week since your last one, um, but I've been busy with personal reading. So we're going to go ahead and get started. So I've chosen the vintage set this time. This, for those of you that are brand new, this is the 1960s and the 1970s deck, okay? And I've chosen it simply because I usually do this in the extended reads. However, I've decided today to put it into your overall general energy um, for the general read, okay? So I want to get started. I've already been burning the sage. I don't know if you can see it from there. It's still smoldering, so your energy is actually burning quite well. So let's get going here. So for those of you that are brand new, welcome to the channel. I appreciate you all very much. For those of you returning, thank you for your continued support. Don't forget to hit the uh, notification bell for those of you returning as well, or even those of you that are brand new, subscribe, hit the like button, get your energy in with us, as well as it supports the channel for free. It's a fantastic way to support us for free, my girls, and I really appreciate it. Let's go ahead and get started. I know we're anxious. And so again, these are the 1960s and the 1970s. So you can imagine how much energy are on these cards. I absolutely adore them. They are absolutely by far my favorite. And then I'm going to get your energy as well with the traditional rider weight. And then whoever is on your hot mind, Taurus, using the other deck. Energies can crisscross over, be all of your energy, be all of their energy or vice versa. Generally, I pick up on the other person's energy. But remember, it's a general read. So, you know, it's not going to resonate for all of you, okay? If it does, fantastic. You may want to take advantage of the continuation link down below in the comment area. I will pin it there. Uh, it's a lot less expensive than a personal reading. But if this resonates for you, that may be all you wish to do. So check that out if you wish to do so. Check your moon and rising as well. Wow. Taurus. Okay, you can see how old these are, right? These are from the 1960s. I love them. It's... I can't explain it. I can feel it when I'm touching them. Of course, you can't touch them, but I can, and I, I feel it. So it's it's very interesting. So you're very disappointed on how something has turned out for you. Um, it can be that usually the Five of Pentacles indicates that you've gone through a period of loss financially, emotionally, probably both. Um, you know, swords are about thought. You could be dealing with a Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, or another Earth sign, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. But it's kind of like, you know, you, you're you going through some sense of lack here. And like I said, overall stress here. It's, it's going to be temporary, though. This isn't going to last forever, just FYI. This is like I need to get away with what I can here because I need to get away from this situation. I'm, I'm feeling lost here. I don't, you know, like you're feeling like, you know, like somebody's kind of leaving you like out in the cold, like you're feeling chilly, you're not feeling loved, you're not feeling nurtured, you're feeling like you're just kind of like blah right now, you're kind of blah. You want to take what you feel that is owed to you and just kind of leave. You just, it's kind of like, you're going to leave a couple things behind, but you know, you feel like for whatever reason, you're entitled to most of it is what I'm getting here. It can be because you just you feel like you've put more effort into a situation and you're kind of like, I'm going to be left with hardly anything or half of everything, but you feel like you deserve more than that. Again, maybe for some of you, you've put in a lot more effort into a situation. This can be a definitely, I feel like it's a breakup of some sort and you're just very disappointed. Financially, for sure, you're disappointed, but also emotionally, this is taking its toll because you're feeling like you just want to get to heck out of Dodge is what I'm getting. First card out is the strongest. So you're you're like, I'm just going to, I'm going to sneak off with what I can here. This is not working out for him, you know, and you're kind of disappointed, but at the same time, you're like realizing that, um, it's cold where you are. It's not happy. It's not fulfilling. You just want to get out. Wow. There could be somebody you're thinking about here from the past, or this can represent that there are children involved. Maybe some of your children, for those of you that have children, of course, remember that's going to resonate for some of you, not all of you, but this is a message I'm getting. For some of you that have children, you feel like perhaps they've left you out in the cold a bit, or this can be that you're thinking about somebody very sweetly from your childhood. You're reminiscing about them. You want to see them. You want to give them flowers, vice versa. Um, you just, you're missing them and you want to spend time with them. Maybe you feel like, um, this can be for some of you that you feel like you're being left out in the cold by somebody that is from your past that you're reminiscing about. Maybe you want to sneak off and see them, or maybe you feel like they're being dishonest with you. 
uh, that maybe um, there's something else going on, but we're gonna dig. That's what we're here for, Taurus. We are gonna dig. Cross watchers, of course, you're welcome here. We couldn't do this without you. So thank you so much all for tuning in. I love reading for you. Why is the uh, Five of Pentacles here for Taurus? Why is it here? Wow, Ace of Pentacles. Okay, so somebody may have decided like they might be giving you a bit of the cold shoulder for some of you because maybe there's not an equal give and take okay this could be you giving somebody else the cold shoulder vice versa remember it can play out from either or it can play out from both uh this can be uh, somebody you're in a marriage or commitment with perhaps you've left them behind because they haven't given you an equal take but either way it's like i want to get away from this situation it's not emotionally satisfying here or financially i have a new beginning here i want a new start i want something that's more balanced it could involve someone from your past here it could clarify the ace of pentacles why is it here for taurus too many cards just one or two please ask and you shall receive the emperor so you could be taking on the energy of the emperor um this is someone who's in control here. You know, this is somebody that uh, definitely likes to get their ducks in a row, but not only that, they plan for the future. You know, this could definitely be you. This, I consider this Aries or Taurus energy here. You could, take, you could be the father of a family in a situation where um, you have a new beginning or you're planning a new beginning because you're just not happy where you are. You're feeling like, um, again, somebody's either intentionally kind of leaving you out in the cold uh, or you feel like they're giving you the cold shoulder you want a new beginning with this person maybe uh, they feel like you haven't given them an equal give and take an equal shake or they could be feeling this way about you you know maybe they feel like you're being kind of sneaky and offhanded okay uh, somebody definitely is like wanting to get away from a situation because they're they're feeling unhappy here i mean you can see these these people are freezing out in the cold here one's wounded and there's a church there they could go in anytime they want but they're choosing not to um i feel like you you are not feeling the best so instead of maybe kind of confronting the situation you're actually planning to get away from this situation is what i'm getting you may be planning to leave somebody out in the cold because you feel like they haven't given you an equal to give and take. So you're going to take what you feel is yours, what you deserve, and just going to kind of sneak off here, possibly in the middle of the night. It's like you're planning. Um, and it can be that you're, um, you're planning to move towards a new beginning, a new foundation, building a new foundation somewhere else possibly with somebody that you're thinking about here. Um, again, this can go vice versa, you know, but I feel like the person that, again, this can just represent children. This is about fond memories. You could be kind of reminiscing and being disappointed. Like, you know, you're remembering how things used to be um, rather than how things are right now. You could be kind of like thinking, I, I have a new beginning coming. Maybe I just need to sneak away. You know, maybe you're just wanting to get away for a while so you can think about things that could be as well. We're going to clarify. We're going to, you know, in the extended, I will be clarifying uh, in the general energy as well. But I want to get going over here as well. Let's see what's going on here. What's going on for Taurus? Now, just FYI, these shuffle quite loudly. Let's see what went. Oh, we've got the Knight of Cups and the Chariot. So you may be wanting to... Take somebody out, romance them. You might be feeling quite sweet about somebody here and you feel this is your rightful path. You may want to go on a journey towards this person if they're at a distance or even if they aren't, okay? It's it's about, again, like I said, you're just kind of wanting to get away. Maybe you're trying to plan to get away here. Um, this person could be distant from you emotionally right now and maybe that's what's bothering you is you want to you know that there needs to be a balance here between the two of you and I feel it's unbalanced is kind of what I'm getting so you might be planning a getaway to go and see them if they are at a distance again again it can be physically emotionally look at that just as I said that look at that ace of pentacles again and eight of wands you could be considering traveling to see somebody communicating sneaking off to see them whatever the case is to um, balance the situation out between you and them wow Ooh, that would be nice wouldn't it all right let's see what's going on for taurus 
Oh, oh, and FYI, for those of you uh, wanting a personal reading, there is um, a coupon code if you go to uh, our Facebook page, actually. I've got it in there as well as on the community page. Take advantage of that because that's only for a week. So there's six days left on that uh, sale on personal readings. If you so wish, it's 25% off. Wow. who's You know what? I just did Scorpio's reading as well, and they got this as well. You could be dealing with a Scorpio, but this is also about transformation. So it can be that that's why you're showing up in Scorpio's reading so much as well. Standing your ground, healing, going after what you want. Um, you're defending your right. You're defending your right to make your choices here, okay? It's This is a period of, this is wishes, hopes, dreams coming true. Standing up for where you feel your destiny lies here. A new beginning. Um, again, it's, it's like you are planning. Uh, you have dreams here, I feel, that you are focused on. <laughs> like I said, the Eight of Wands came up in the Knight of Cups. You could be dealing with a Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, another Earth sign, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. We have Aquarius here as well. You could have strong Aquarius in your chart. But this is like, I have a new beginning here. I want a new foundation. I know I need to balance this situation out. Uh, perhaps there hasn't been an equal give and take. You may have been defensive in this situation. But I do feel like other people are involved, too much involved in your life here, Taurus, because you're you're having to stand up for yourself, which tells me that there's too many people in your business kind of telling you or shoving you or prodding you. And if this isn't you, you know, it's, it's whomever you're thinking about. You're trying to defend what it is you want. It can be to children, to family members, to friends, to whomever. And it's it's like um, there's too many people involved. There's there's too many when there's this many people that you have to fight or fight for your rights, and that tells me that there's too many people involved in your life. That's what I'm getting quite strongly. All right, I don't feel anybody should <laughs> tell anybody what to do, especially Taurus. Mm, can't tell Taurus what to do, right? Taurus, right? Am I right? Okay. Cross watchers, you could be here too, of course. I know you can weigh in on that. What's going on with Taurus as a person of interest now or in the future? This could be somebody you haven't met yet. This could be, again, um, you have a brand new beginning here that you're just overall planning, you know. Um, could involve someone from your past. Could also involve a new career move for some of you. Either way, it's about standing up for your right, your choices, your dreams, your wishes. This is your destiny. That's what I'm getting with the star card. You're also healing possibly from a prior breakup, but it's about, you know, again, too many people involved. What's going on with Taurus? Taurus person of interest. How do they feel about Taurus? What do they want from Taurus? What are their intentions towards Taurus now or in the future? What do they need to know, please, for December 2020? In the extended as well, for those of you that are brand new, I will focus on the new year, January 2020. We're going to see what's going on for the new year. We are going to sneak peek, and I will be doing um, pick a card with the Romance Angels. I will be also getting advice and guidance messages from spirits. I'll be pulling the divine messages from the divine feminine and messages from the divine masculine. What are the messages, please, from Taurus's person of interest now or in the future? What do they need to know? I'm going to get the mutual energies after this as well. How both you and your person now or in the future are feeling about one another. We're going to get that as well. What is going on for Taurus's person of interest? How do they feel about Taurus? What are their intentions with Taurus for December 2020? So for those of you that are new to tarot, even though I'm getting you these messages now from spirit, this may not play out for months. Sometimes it can be playing out now. A lot of my repeat clients, you know, they let me know that uh, things are happening now and it's so exciting. I just love it. Okay, look at that page of swords. So somebody could be kind of checking it up, up on you and you might be becoming quite defensive if somebody's snooping on you. Okay, you might be standing your ground saying, you know, why are you checking up on me or you just know they're checking up on you. Can also be about a new contract. This could be a new contract, a new job, a new position, a new relationship that you're standing your ground on, speaking your truth. Okay, this uh, page of swords can definitely be about signing a new contract business deal that somebody doesn't agree with to bring balance financially. That could be, I'm getting that for some of you. Why is a page of swords here? Why is a page of swords here? Somebody could be checking up on you. It could be um, the partner that you broke up with here, possibly. Oh yeah, 10 of cups. Yeah, eight of, eight of cups. Okay, so you're walking away and standing your ground here. 
um, from a long-term relationship family situation that you are not getting respect, love, or any emotional fulfillment from, okay? I feel like somebody could be, um, they could be checking up on you, Taurus, to see what you're up to and you're defending yourself. You're trying to heal. You're moving toward what you feel is your rightful path here, possibly a soulmate, with the star card here, six of cups, that's soulmate energy. And you're walking away from this situation where there's nothing but stress, chaos, and you're constantly having to stand up for yourself is what I'm getting here. Okay, you're having to defend yourself. Let's clarify the seven of wands. I'm going to get the mutual energies. What is going on with the seven of wands here for Taurus, please? Why is the seven of wands here? Why are they having to stand up or defend themselves here with the seven of wands for December 2020? What are the messages? Oh, wow. There you go. The plot thickens. Yeah. You're guarding a new beginning you have. You have a lot of love for somebody, a new blessing coming in, a soulmate, and you're protecting this. You are guarding it. You are standing up for it. You're standing your ground. You're fighting for this new love. You feel this person is your destiny here. Um, again, the star card is also about your wishes, your hopes, your dream coming true, your rightful path, your, your, um, becoming your authentic self here. And you're really standing your ground. There's too many people in your business, Taurus. That's what I'm seeing. Well, tell people to get out of your business, Taurus. Okay. Let's go ahead and see what is going on mutually. How are you both mutually mirroring one another when it comes to your relationship now or in the future? This is brand new beginning. You want something solid. You want something that's real. This is a new blessing here. And I feel like you're really guarding and protecting it here. Okay. What is going on? And I feel that, that because you're having to stand up for what you want, you're just kind of wanting to sneak off at that point. They're both sevens. So you're like, I'm standing my ground. I'm fighting. I'm defending what I want here. I'm, I'm trying to protect this new beginning. I'm just ready to just kind of sneak off here. I feel like you've had enough. You're not emotionally happy, fulfilled. You know that there is a lot of love for you somewhere else. This is your wish fulfillment. You want to walk away towards your wish fulfillment here. What is going on mutually between Taurus and whomever is on their mind? Please, spirits and angels for December. How are they mutually mirroring one another? One another when it comes to this relationship? Ooh, we do want to know, don't we? Yes. How is Taurus and their person feeling about each other? What are they mutually mirroring each other on? Okay. Wow. Okay. So this is about a conclusion of a situation. I feel like you're ending a chapter here in a long-term family situation, uh, long-term commitment here. We've got the Ten of Cups, the Five of Pentacles. This is about walking away from, you know, uh, your relationship that you're in. You've had for a long time. Uh, you may have already done this or it's happening in the future. You're not happy there. So you're ending this and it's something that's meant to come to an end because a star card here, that means that you're, you're healing now. You're, you are having to defend your new beginning, but you're also standing up for, but you're also in a period of healing uh, and it's to control. I feel like whoever you were in a relationship with, whoever you're ending it with, you were both trying to control the situation. Okay. Um, there's too much control here, or one of you is trying to control the situation too much. I don't feel this is your new beginning. You're taking your power back. And that's exactly what I was saying with the emperor here. I feel that you are the emperor. You could quite possibly be a father or a mother already, okay? Or this is you in your power. You are a leader. It can be that you own your own business or you're a boss, um, whatever the case is. In, in Taurus, you are. You, um, you definitely, you're the bull. So you like to take charge, right? Yeah. Okay. So let's find out one more. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was saying. Too many people in your business. This is about the challenges. This is about... Fighting arguments, disagreements, somebody's trying to control too much. Um, so this situation is going to end, but it's going to give you the new beginning that you're wishing and hoping for here. It's right here with the star card. You're defending your destiny. You are defending your soulmate. You are standing up for yourself. You're becoming your authentic self and you're trusting your spiritual growth here to come through. That is awesome. Beautiful. 
and the universe is saying seek support. It sounds, you know, definitely when there's an ending like this, um, it's meant to happen, but you also both need support right now. Instead of trying to kind of control the situation, you both kind of need to seek that emotional support is what I'm getting because you're not getting it from each other. There's, there's nothing, um, there's no love loss here is what I'm seeing. Okay, I want to go ahead and get a Sacred Destiny Oracle guidance cards for you. Leave me comments below. Let me know what's going on. But the good news here, Taurus, is that you have a new beginning, a new blessing, and it's overflowing, and you are protecting it. That's what I'm getting. You're, you're keeping this protected. You really are. Um, you're setting up boundaries, I feel, with the previous person, um, your previous partner here. I feel like you're standing your ground. You're not going to back down. You are in your power now. And you are going after a very solid beginning uh, is what I'm seeing here with a soulmate, okay? There's definitely soulmate energy. You feel a connection to somebody. What are the messages, please, for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? What are the guidance and advice messages for December? Here we go. Check. Ooh, look at those beautiful eyes. Oh, I love. Look at that. Nice. Okay. Look at. I have to show you this. Remember when I said becoming your authentic self? Here's the star card. See how this person's like no clothes, right? Purity. You're becoming yourself. You are standing your ground. You're not taking any crap here. You're healing and you're letting, you're going to let everybody know how you feel and what you want and what your destiny is. And you're going to stand up for it if you haven't already. Or the universe is telling you that's what you need to do, okay? It's about becoming pure, becoming yourself. When you look at your reflection in the mirror or in the water, do you like what you see? Because if you don't, then there's changes you need to make, okay? It's all about healing and loving yourself before you can love somebody else. You're not happy where you are, so it's time to find it. Here it is. Eight to nine is your wish fulfillment. You're going to find it. You're going to get it. You might quite possibly leave in the middle of the night for some of you that are not feeling emotionally fulfilled because you're just, you're constantly going through, I feel, arguments. It's it's really, it's hard to stay in a place where you're arguing all the time. Wow, just as I say that, look at that. New beginnings, new beginning, new beginning, new beginning. That's your new beginning. It's going to be solid. There's going to be lots of love. You have absolutely nothing to worry about. So we're going to pull a love compass guidance message and then we're going to head over to the extended. Please don't forget, as my girls like to say, smashing that like button. Hit subscribe. Again, it's free. It's a fantastic way to support our channel for free. We really appreciate it. And thanks to all of you who have donated to the channel. It really, truly makes a difference. What is going on for Taurus? What are the loving guidance messages for Taurus? Oh my gosh, look what I just said. Did I not just say that? You need to love some you need to love yourself before you can love somebody else. Standing up for yourself. Yeah, look at that baby. Uh-huh. Practicing self-love and self-care will attract more loving people and healthy relationships into your life. Find peace and balance within. <laughs> Accept the past and all that is with grace. Accept yourself at all levels. This may pertain to awakening of love for self. Okay, so you're learning to stand up for yourself. You're learning self-care, self-love. You're learning to set boundaries. You're learning to say no to people. You're learning that you have a new beginning here, a soulmate that you want to move towards here. Uh, that's what I'm getting here. Um, or this is, again, self-love, self-care, and a you want a beginning that's more balanced so that you can start off on the right foot. Okay, you're looking for your wish fulfillment. Let's find out if you're going to find it, okay? I feel you are. It looks like it's right here. You're planning the steps to your future here, but there's still some challenges to get through. But I feel like you're guarding this new blessing, this new love with your life. I do feel like you have a soulmate, but we're going to dig so much deeper and we are going to find out, okay? This is beautiful. I mean, new beginnings right there and you've got it right here. If that's not confirmation, I don't know what is. Let's go check it out, Taurus. Again, I'll do the Romance Angel pick a card. I'm also going to pull the Psychic Tarot, okay? I'm going to get more of the general energies with the vintage deck. I'm going to pull Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine. We're going to dig. That's what we're going to do. Okay, let's find out who your soulmate is. I thank you so much for being here. I wish you nothing but amazing blessings now and always. Leave me comments. Let me know what's going on with you, Taurus. Let me know if this resonates, okay? So for those of you leaving me now, I will see you next time. For those of you meeting me for the continuation, I will be right there. Namaste.